Good day. Welcome to the Gulf News Update for Sunday, August the 16th. Here are the top stories at this hour. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrives in the UAE today on a two-day official visit. Modi's visit will be his first to the Arabian Gulf and Middle East region since his election in May 2014. Apart from official meetings, he is expected to visit Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi and Mustar City. He will also address a massive gathering of Indian expats at the Dubai Cricket Stadium, where more than 50,000 people are expected to turn up. An Emirati woman is the first to sign up for the Federal National Council's candidacy as the registration for the FNC elections open today. Nominations will continue until Thursday. Dr. Anwar Mohammed Gargash, Minister of State and Foreign Affairs and FNC Affairs, has called for broad and active participation in elections scheduled to be held on October 3rd. Forces loyal to Yemen's exiled government have retaken a fifth southern province, extending recent gains against Iran-backed Shia militias who still control the capital. Loyalist forces in the south launched an offensive last month against al Houthi militants, forcing them out of the main southern city, Adan. The advance is heading towards Ta'az, which analysts regard as the gateway to Sana'a. The force will awaken in just 125 days, but Star Wars fans didn't learn anything new about the film at Disney's D23 convention on Saturday. Audiences at the biannual Fan Expo were however informed that Jurassic World director Colin Trevorrow is set to direct Star Wars Episode 9 and saw a first glimpse of the cast of Star Wars Rogue One. And finally, weather. Today's high across the UAE will be 42 degrees Celsius, dropping to 31 degrees at night. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can get the latest news at golfnews.com.